Well, hello there everybody, it's Sally here and welcome to another Tuesday Teaching Tips. I'm a bit earlier than I normally am because I've got to go into a meeting at one o'clock and it's half term. So I thought I'd pop in, the sun is shining and the day is good. So, this particular Tuesday Teaching Tip, that it's not enough for you just to teach, I have to thank for one of the LRSN students that I'm currently working with, and it's Jane. So Jane, if you're out there listening, thank you so much. I told you I was going to do this for a Tuesday teaching tip because I thought this was really brilliant what she said. We were talking about their case studies and at LRSN you have to do a six month case study showing and following three students. And what I've done with all my LRSM students is introduce them to this idea of teaching backwards. And you can see here, I've got a book called Teaching Backwards. Classroom book, but really, really useful in the music room as well. And this idea of teaching backwards is to do with, if you, the teacher, start with the end goal. What do you want your student to do by the end of either the lesson or the unit of work or a term? It's only when you know what the destination is that you can actually plan the steps that are going to take the student to get there. However, going back further, you've then got to think, well, how do I know they've learnt as you introduce these new things to them? Because quite often as teachers, I know we're very busy teaching. We teach, we teach, we teach, do this, do that, play scales, do this. Even if we think we have a good rapport with our student and we give them some student voice, which of course we should be, they often will go when you ask them a question, hmm, and we we'll might say, right, so, you know, G major, it's got an F sharp in it. Do you rem will you remember that for next time? Hmm, yeah. But that's not them showing us that they've learned anything. Now, I think one thing about this, getting them to show their learning, is that it does take time. And it certainly does seem to slow down progress. However, <laughs> you could say that you're building anything that isn't uh, getting the students to show their learning. You could say you're building it on rather shifting sands because if they don't understand it, then you know you're gonna have to come back and repeat it again later on down the line. Might be in a month, might be in three months, might be in three years. So one, thing I would say is that we should all slow down the rush to make progress. Progress is that way as much as it is that way. Now here in the UK we're very uh, keen on our exam system and that in a way pushes us up this little funnel like this and we're always moving on to the next grade. But let's think differently, let's think sideways, let's f let it fill up and let the student gradually learn and gradually they will become a better player because of it. So don't just assume that because you've taught a subject or taught a concept or a, or a topic that the student really has learnt it. Remember, you are not the hero of the lesson. The student is the hero of the lesson. Put them at the centre of the lesson and suddenly everything changes. And it becomes quite... Um, it, it, yeah, it becomes really interesting, I think, in your teaching and maybe just a little uncomfortable because you're not in the driving seat any, any longer. This idea, the student is the hero of the lesson. What have they learned and how can you um, tell, how can you assess that they actually have learned something? We went on on Sunday to discuss that a little bit. We were talking about using the thermometer, um, but it's not just yes or no. It's got to be a bit more subtle than that. And, you know, getting them to rate themselves. I quite often do that. I've talked about that before, out of 10. And I might even come back next week and discuss this all a little bit further. But in the meantime, I want you to consider that. Thinking about s stopping your own teaching. Remember, you're not the hero. The student is the hero of the lesson. It is not enough just to teach. How do you know the student has learned? That's what really matters. Okay, have a lovely day wherever you are in the world and see you next week for more on this subject. Thank you. Bye-bye.